I'm here with Danilo, and you're a Launchpad Translations developer, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so what does your job involve? Well, that involves actually doing a lot of uh, stuff on Launchpad, which mostly pertains to translations. Uh, Launchpad, I'm not sure how many people actually know, supports the Ubuntu translations. Uh, it's a basically a common infrastructure for, for the Ubuntu. It also supports upstream projects and stuff like that. So, so it enables projects to have their, what, their UI translated into different languages? Yeah, that, that's basically it, but we're actually providing a web, web user interface to do the actual translations. It's mostly a translation workflow management. Okay, so how does if it... That uh, doesn't sound like too crazy. No, no, no. <laughs> well, how does it work from a practical point of view? Say I've got a project and I'd, uh, it's written in English and I want to translate it into, well, however many languages I can. So the first thing one would have to do is to actually enable it like to be translated, which is done totally outside Launchpad, which means... Most commonly supporting it with get text, basically enabling the entire get text or Intel tool setup for a project. And get text is a GNU project, isn't it? Yeah, that, that, yeah so that, that's a, basically the common, well, the base internationalization library for the entire GNU stack. And that allows you, when you're writing your program, to, to if, if I'm right, I mean, you, you have to tell me, but uh, to say that strings within the UI or within the text that appear on the screen are, are replaceable, substitutable yeah, with other things. basically. It, right. That's what most people think, but there's a lot more stuff involved, so <laughs> that's one common misconception, is just strings, but there's a lot more to it, but okay. that gives you the basic, basic idea of what, what it's about. So if I've written my application using GetText, how do I go about getting it translated? So the first thing you get when you actually do a GetText setup what it can produce for you is something that is called a PO template. It's a what looks like a simple text file mm -hmm. ending with uh, POT, and that's the thing you actually want to offload to a launchpad. And then when you do that, uh, it will show all the translators how they can translate that to their own language. So, is there a, a team of translators who just sit and watch for a new upload file to translate? In general, there should like not be, but surprisingly, there there are <laughs> because we don't have like really perfect notification mechanisms for stuff like that. Mm. But people just figure it out and find projects. I don't know, maybe somebody's like sitting there and browsing through all the new projects <laughs> as they appear and then just doing the translation. But it happens actually like that. Uh, there, is there anything that Launchpad Translations does that helps make it easier for people to translate? Does it break it down into chunks or something? Well, that, that's basically what the GetTix does for us. So uh, you actually get already separate, smaller messages to translate, so they're short strings. What Launchpad actually simplifies is not being necessary for people to actually learn any of the GetTix stuff. So right. PO files, even though they look like simple text files, there's more to it. You can easily make mistakes and stuff like that. The best thing you can actually do is like just use Launchpad, it hides everything from you, you don't have to worry about doing bad formatting and stuff like that, it even corrects it for you, and it simplifies the process quite a lot, and it also allows people to do something like a suggest and review workflow, so they can first suggest a translation and then somebody else can come in and actually review it and accept it as a translation, so you don't have to like work with simple textual files so you can improve the process a bit as well. Is there anything you can do to help um, translate common strings? I mean, a lot of applications will have yes, no buttons and yeah. things the same as other applications. Yeah, so Launchpad actually at the moment offers uh, basically among the suggestions it lists all the translations which already exist for that particular message in other projects as well. So it's right. pretty easy to reuse translations for identical strings. In the future, we'll be also adding some more sort of similarity matching to actually do what people sometimes consider fuzzy matching of strings. So you can, like, for similar strings, you can also get a suggestion and just improve on it. So how many different languages and things does Launchpad Translation support? Well, Launchpad Translations as an application can support any number of languages. At the moment, we have probably like 150 and maybe even more languages uh, I'm not exactly sure because some have just started and done only like a tiny bit of work and I'm not sure if we, we should count that like as actual supported language. Mm -hmm. are, are they all common spoken languages or do people translate it into Latin or Klingon or anything like that? Uh, I think they haven't 
some have actually started in there, but they have never seen that like catch up. But yeah. uh, yes, people are actually interested in stuff like that. And we also have like developers, Ubuntu developers, interested in having uh, stuff like Ian at Pirate to do testing. So <laughs> they would do their har 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 things there. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So what are you hoping to get out of this UDS then? Well, we are actually getting a lot of input from people. We had a bunch of sessions, uh, and there's a lot of work basically involved in actually communicating and keep, keep, keeping people in the know and just helping us design priorities for the next short-term cycle in Launchpad, basically. And what sort of um, threads are you working on? What tracks are you working with? Uh, I'm working with community, with other track, if there is such a thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what tracks. I mean, there, there were like a huge bunch of them, so uh, probably like we also had a few sessions about packaging because we want to do language packs for help files and stuff like that. So there, there's a... Working across the board, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah basically, yeah. yeah. Cool. So uh, what are you hoping to sort of take away as your, your main thing you'll learn from this UDS? Well, uh, quite a lot of experiences. I basically know a lot of people, but I have met a few more this time. So that's one cool thing to know, actually, to be able to think people more easily because you actually had the chance of them to like make, make fun of you so then it's not <laughs> much easier to actually work with people online. Yeah, there's a lot of people making fun of each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I was just being polite and making fun of them as well. Oh, of course, it goes both ways. <laughs> right. Cool, excellent. Well, enjoy the rest of the week and thank you for yeah. talking to me. Yeah, thank you as well.